All right, so I have done some grinding off camera. It was boring as sin. I'm gonna keep doing that. I also looked up when the uh, side quests expire. Yes. They, uh, it's like chapter 15 or 16. A lot of people are like, yeah, don't worry about it. Oh. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm still gonna do do a couple of them while I warm up a little. Also because I want to show off this area because it's dang cool. Uh, let's see. Oh gosh, that's what I need to kill. I gotta go kill those stupid skyfishes and they're hard. More of the lizard folk. Yep, there's a bunch of them all over the place. I didn't really see a whole lot of information as to why they're here. Which kind of sucks a bit. Because they're, they're super clearly like an annoyance. Let's see. I'm not paying, paying any attention to what I'm doing. What are you up to, Shell? Why are you... Am I quiet? Yeah. I'm still thinking of that dream that I had last night. I'm not going to reiterate it because I already told it to the audience before. Fortunately, I've been but... sleeping kind of fitfully, so I'm not sure if I really remember many of mine. I, I, I love the dreams that I have. They're crazy. They're all over the place. They're action-packed. They're grand adventures. And sometimes I get song ideas or creature design ideas from them. I keep, I keep having really good story ideas, and I'm like, man, I really want to write. <laughs> but then every day is just like, oh yeah, but you should do this. And then like, I can't tear myself from my phone, which is just kind of the worst lately. You know, I, I definitely think at times that the world would be better off without smartphones. I think, yeah, the world would be better, better place without as much internet. Mm-hmm. Because I love me some internet when it's good, but like, nowadays I'm flip-flopping back and forth between like current events, and uh, gosh. Well, it gets you caught in this cyclical loop of you're looking at one social media site and then you're looking at another social media site. You have a couple websites that you flip between and then you waste hours of your day. The thing that gets me is actually, um, I'm constantly looking for good news. Okay. But in that search for good news... You encounter bad news. So much bad news. And it's like actual pain. Because I'd, I'd probably be more inclined to chill if I wasn't constantly just being inundated with... Uh, I, I, I was definitely happier and more productive as a kid before I had a smartphone. Or access to a computer. All I'm the time. definitely more productive as an adult because as a kid I was like totally fine with screwing around. Um, I think in a lot of cases it's because I'm constantly thinking about time management. The problem is then I still uh, waste a lot of my spare time just being like, ah. Mm -hmm. See what you guys have dreams. I do occasionally. Shell has them constantly. I Hers have them. Nine nightly, and yeah. I have a journal that I write the best ones in. Yeah, hers tend to be a little bit more um, dire. My dreams tend to be a little weird, from like really cool to uh, super crappy. Like I had one that we were trying to buy a house, but for some reason, like when we finally went to move in, there's somebody living there already, <laughs> and like the real estate agent was like, "Yeah, it's your new roommate." I'm like, "I bought this house." What are you doing? Roommate's not supposed to be included. Yeah. Uh. I did not agree to this man. And, like, the guy wasn't necessarily creepy, but he had just enough stuff that it was going to be an inconvenience. <laughs> like, you know, he already had a TV in the living room. And... Alright, you can't knock this thing down. He already had a TV in the living room, a couch, some other things, uh, a microwave. And, and, you know, it was just, like, a number of things that are just, like, but I want to furnish my house, and now I have no room for it because of this random guy. And then I woke up before it got resolved, but I was just righteously mad because I shouldn't have to deal with having a roommate. <laughs> uh, unwillingly. Mm-hmm. 
It's actually very rare for me to have dreams where I am me. I'm usually experiencing my dreams much like a video game. Mm. Like, if there is a protagonist of the dream, it is someone else, and I'm usually not seeing through their eyes, but like, you know, over the shoulder perspective. I usually see in the first person's perspective, and I'm typically myself, or uh, part of it is sometimes I do have agency in my own dreams, so I can control aspects of it, unless it's just your brain making you believe that you have control and you yourself are actually working on a linear story path. I don't know. Let's see. Then there are the dreams where you're haunted by voice actors. It was only ever Matt Mercer and it was only once. Mainly because, like, it was that specific period of time. Where uh, he was voicing everything? Like, every game that I was playing in a three-month period had Matt Mercer in it. Uh, and that was, you know, the, the time period where I was trying to beat Persona 5. Which meant playing way too much of it. And so it's like... I think for a lot of people, it'd be totally fine, but I'm not that big of a fan of the guy. Oh. Stinky. Yeah, I was wearing my robe all day because I was cold. Go change Stinky. I'll do, uh, I'll do a little bit more. <laughs> but like, I'm not necessarily against the guy. I just, I don't watch Critical Role because I know it affects my, my own DMing. And... He's very much like one of those voice actors that is hired for his absolutely beautiful voice. Uh, yeah, which is a shame because, yeah, he does actually have a huge range normally. But he's just not allowed to use it. What the? Okay. That's a weird quest. But uh, to describe the haunting of Matt Mercer, effectively the guy was much like the roommate story that I was just telling. He was effectively in my apartment and he wouldn't leave. And then when I did get him to leave, he kind of just went outside and then hung out there and it was real weird. Hey, I suppose in that dream I was just describing, we had purchased a, an apartment and had a ghost as an unwelcome tenant. Strength up uh, buff when you're fighting higher level enemies. Doesn't really help me much here. Hmm. Okay. What does she have? Ooh. Boost agility. I've had a lot of people tell me that agility is real good. Uh, hey, she got Starlight Kick. That's actually really helpful. After Spear Break, forces topple. That's so good. Ooh. And I've already maxed that out. I don't know if I have Summon Earth yet, though. Yeah, I don't have Summon Earth. Blech. Either that, or they don't have all the elements available off the bat? Uh, or, oh, sorry, I mean, they don't have Earth as an element that you use? Or well, do you know for it's one of the moves that you can learn, and okay. I've heard it's amazing. It's just, haven't unlocked it yet, I guess. Let's see, what's the cooldown on that one? Ooh. Guess I'm gonna just do that. I have not been leveling any of these. I would think that these would be things that would be good to do between episodes. Yeah, I would, but we're about to do a bunch of plot stuff. Ah. Oh. Like, ideally we're gonna hop on the plot train and we're not gonna get off. Uh, until we're on Mechanis tonight. That's an assumption. I actually have no idea what's what's after Prison Island. Mm-hmm. 
I would like to know heal counter. Ooh. That's pretty good. Headshot. Eh, it's okay. Not gonna bother with Dunban. Did he get anything new? Burninate. Spits out fire. Burninate. <laughs> this little sucker is great. Uh, let's see. That's because he's Ricky. I just gotta figure out. I guess it's probably better than his backstab. I actually have no idea if it is better than his backstab. The idea of just dumping a bunch of status effects on status effects on enemies sounds just fun. It's part of the reason why I wanted to use Melia more, but nope, can't level that up. She's good. Just. Going to ignore Dunban for the time being. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is virtually all that I need to do. So we want to go back to the back to Elkimoth. I thought all there right. were some exclamation points though. Were you going to kill those creatures? Uh, I killed I killed what I could, but like later. After Prison Island is the largest area in the game. Well, then. Oh. Yeah, I guess we have a quest to go turn in. Yeah, you're probably not going to get to Mechanis. Prison Island is more or less the halfway point, though. Oh, you mean like for the plot? That's good. That is good. I mean, I would expect as much, considering that we have already... Traverse the Bionis, and then the Mechanis would be the other of the two quote unquote worlds. Right. That guy wants wanted armor for the ships. Like I, I feel kind of bad that we aren't doing much of a side quest, but like every Every side quest I did this afternoon was just not worth it. Wee. You mean not worth discussing or like it's good witnessing. for a podcast perspective, but from like a hey, uh, let's do game. this for like three hours. Mm -hmm. uh... I would take a good look at that statue. That one? We already did. No, but just take a good look at it. It's interesting because it's... I can understand that it's making the humanoid shape, but it's comprised of a bunch of rectangles that have been stretched and skewed. It's interesting. Could just be... stylistic? Mm hmm More abstract. Well then... Where are you going now? I'm just turning in a couple of quests. Mm-hmm. wonder if you want to try a good indie platformer, End is Nigh. I already tried that one. It was really hard on my hands. Friend has been stinky thing. Give to Bar Baroba. Give, give. Pew! Smell worse than imagine. It's perfect. Thank Hom Hom, people. Right, because he didn't want people to pick him up or squeeze him. Yep. Nilo is also part of my family, so I must be nice to Nilo. But Nilo is bad influence on Little Pawn. He should drink less. What? Because of your help, Baroba run around outside like good no pawn. Big thank you. Well, this only little bit, but let everything Oh wait, what are you doing? But please take it, sorry. Please take it. Alright. Got everything worked out, usual affinity Those dialogue. Are the ends well. Yeah, so, oh, thanks to you. Yep. Only possible because you helped. So there's no reaction to the fact that we stanked up her son. Yeah, I... Hmm. Yeah. People were saying that we, like, goofed on a quest where there's, like, a, a boolean that we missed. Uh-huh. Uh, Specifically that, like... There was seemed to be a quest available back there. Yeah, you know what? I suffer, suffer from crippling apathy right now. 
<laughs> it it's mainly just that like the side quests do very little to actually develop the world. Like they learned for Xenoblade Chronicles X and two a little. Brother, where is father? Melia. The Imperial Staff, it's so father has gone. I Kalian! The Emperor has proceeded to the island, alone, for the sake of the Empire. Why did you let him go alone? Father! His Majesty is fully aware. Alvis. Of what will happen to him, and what he must do before then. You saw something. I did, during our ancient divination ritual. If he knows, then why? Because he is the ruler of the Imperial family and all the High Entia, we must respect his decision above all else. But that doesn't mean... Trust him, Shulk. His fate was decided long ago. No! Shulk, we're going. But Dunban... Respect? Destiny? We don't need rules to tell us when to save the people we care for. You too, Melia. Don't give up on him. The Emperor, your father, is going to die. Dumban! There's only one thing to do. Are you with me? Of course. But you can't. We are Homs. Do what you must. But your laws don't concern us. My apologies, Dunban. No apologies needed. So, Melia, what's it to be? We go to Prison Island. I would like it if we didn't have the current circlet on Dunban because now we can't see his eyebrows. But he has fantasy eyebrows. Yeah, but some of his best features. And I couldn't tell that he was bursting them together or angry or... Mm. Okay. <laughs> I still like that one. You still like the mask? The unicorn. And they really do hide his eyebrows. An awful lot. Yeah, they do. It's not so bad. Yeah, do they have a silver one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's good. I like it. That fits. Wander is a Phantom of the Opera fan. Honestly, I could care less about Phantom of the Opera. But I'm down with the uh I remember for a aesthetic. while my friends and I loved singing the songs from it. In sleep he sang to You me. still sing that song in often. Dreams he came. Ryan is cosplaying as an intellectual. <laughs> the closest he's ever gonna get. I actually have to walk out of here. Uh. But Wander would hate Fan of the Opera because it is a giant love triangle. It's a giant love triangle and it's incredibly creepy. Mm-hmm. Because it's effectively like some dude that they locked away in the basement and told them to write all the operas. Creeping on a woman that's singing the operas he wrote. And then... Uh, and she had fallen in love with and was going to marry another man. Yeah. And then, I don't know, that sort of stuff just like evokes that Twilight feeling and I hate it. You know, where it's just like, nothing about this love triangle feels healthy. And I don't want to encourage it. Okay, deciphering of ancient texts. Huh. Deciphering machine? Yeah. Can I count on you? Yeah, so you just want he just wants me to go fetch. Man, I am actually like relentlessly hungry. Why am I relentlessly hungry? This sucks. 
Yeah, especially because you had that curry earlier. I did. I think a lot of it truly goes back to I'm still super used to eating a fair bit of meat. And so, like, being somewhat full vegetarian uh, at this point is I'm not adapted to it yet, nor am I particularly comfortable with the feeling of hungry. I mean, I, I think finger, too, feeling of hunger. If you just have a handful of nuts or yeah, my problem with having a handful of nuts stuff. is then they're stuck in my teeth for a while, <laughs> which is actually like a kind of serious problem. I admit, before this, I mommed on some of those cheese crackers, the goldfish. Oh, oh no! This fly infestation is beginning to bug me! <laughs> Unmanned craft built by ancient High Entia. Is it too much to hope this is the last of them? Ginormous things at 12 o'clock! Ancient creatures that were sealed within Prison Island. They have us in their sights. They must be our target's pets. Perhaps. Let's see how they like this! Prison Island is just ahead. Do we need to use the transporter? We do. But first, we must unlock the seals. Seals? We need to unlock two seals to reach Prison Island. Then, a door will appear before us, showing the way. Got it. Move, everyone. Well, then I wonder how long these challenges will be. Not too long. Remember that building that I guess I took us to earlier? One of them is here. So this shouldn't take too long. Uh, you know what? Let's not. I already fought that guy. I've already fought him three times today. I think I can skip out and fighting, fighting him <laughs> again. Yeah, looks like they're all fo following me. Well. Bye. See you later. And the boss music. Oh, not the boss music, but the battle music changes. Yeah, I think because I aggroed in like another group. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it was just the same guys and they took another way around. I don't really know. I don't really care. It's interesting. I don't know if it's a force field or glass, but I like the wavery light that's beneath the railings. Huh? You only see it when you're running. Oh. Unless it's just the water? No, no, it's definitely It might have actually just been a graphic issue. This game has troubles uh, layering things sometimes. So you'll notice if like the camera is spinning around Shulk, there will be like a fuzzing around him. I don't actually know why. Can anyone explain where these lizards are coming from and why they're persistently attacking the Hyentia and everything I, around them? You know, I don't know. It would actually be, would have been really nice if they got into that more. Mm hmm Why are these things here? What are they doing? Well, also, they, they seem capable of naming themselves, crafting weapons. It would be nice to know their motivations. Yeah, it would have been a good spot for the side quests. And the side quests kind of talk about them destroying stuff. 
Because, mm-hmm. like, I had a side quest for, uh, like, a series of windmills that got destroyed. And they're like, these critters, you know, can't stand the windmills. And I'm like, yeah, but why? And the answer was, Bleh. People are just calling them chaotic evil. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I that tends to be the hand-wavy explanation for, say, things in RPGs. Or tabletop RPGs. Just their evil. And they always attack humans. I like these purple bulb things, whatever they are. Yeah. Just little flowers, I guess. It is nice being, like, nearly ten levels above. Everything, just so that you can run past them. Yep. Very few things will actually bother me. Okay. These guys will. Some things will. Doesn't take too long, though. Please stop hitting me. I really do like it in sci-fi and fantasy games where all of the foliage and the... Wait, what is going on? Have we ever seen this? Uh... Oh, it... It's almost used in the same manner as yep. an air balloon. There, it is being used as an air balloon. There's a dude in there. That creature's mouth is facing the wrong that way. That seems like the worst possible place. <laughs> like, to be entirely honest... Well, I think the point is, if you notice there are those extra hooks on the front of the creature's face, it might be one of those things where you use them as reins to tug one way or the other. Yeah, but look at how much the guy's getting whipped around. Yep. No, that that is why people tend to create saddles as opposed to dangling baskets. <laughs> yep. Especially, like, you wouldn't want to attach that to the wiggliest part of a critter. Just imagining him becoming incredibly. He attacks air sick. by puking. Ah. Just motion sick. <laughs> the whole thing is just filled with, like, tons of garbage. <laughs> that just, like. Oh, my. Wallops us instead. Uh, let's see. I feel for the poor guy, but it's very clear he did this to himself. Yeah. He probably thinks he's a genius. We don't have an explanation for what they are either. Aren't there the aren't they these stout, completely hooded creatures that yeah, you the only hodes. see you only see a little glimmer of maybe their eyes? What the heck is a hood, man? I don't know. Maybe they're a type of toad person. They're called a hode. A oh. human toad! You know Could how they, they, they tend to I was thinking have... in terms of hood. Oh, I see. But yeah, look at them. Yeah. They do just have two they're just glowing red eyes. They're just little like Jawa Jala things. Mm-hmm. I make up for my absolute lack of sense. With extremely caustic lunches. <laughs> well, there he goes. Yep. I don't get it. And I wish in those situations, if you take the giant creature down, then... The dude it, pops it, out and you have to fight him? Yeah. Sort of. I feel like that guy went through the ringer just by being... It present in, in that fight mm -hmm. so i don't know that's like being in a car crash except for your car is glitching out constantly prior to the crash like, chances are you're not getting up from that one and chances are you're not going to be doing anything other than hurt hurling oh there's another one uh at least this one's not a mid boss a largos echidno like who designed you what's Stupid moron thought this is a good idea. It actually looks 
like it's using its head to bludgeon more so than yeah, to bite because well, it's the got mouth like is a on big, the wrong. It's got like a big hammery jaw, so it kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. Where are its eyes? It doesn't look like it has eyes. It's got like teeny eyes on the top. Really? I think. I don't see any. Yeah, you're right. Maybe it doesn't have eyes. Maybe that's why it's so stupid looking. Yeah, no, it doesn't have eyes. Well, all right. Oh no! Yeah, I'm doing fine. Mm -hmm. It's only really. Oh, there is a guy on the ground, by the way. Yeah, I'm trying to kill him. Actually, there's an archer too, but the archer isn't aggroed. Yeah, he's not aggroed. I'm too high of a level. Huh. All right then. Like I said, perks of being over leveled is that I can clear through this faster. I had somebody really trying to advocate for play us playing on ep expert mode so that we don't over level. What? That's high. That the wrong character. The, like, okay, well, now fine. You've, now you've aggroed him. Yeah. He's like, I was just watching. <laughs> Why would you do this? He's staggered. He's down on the ground. Or toppled, as you would say. I always hated that dumb bird. Why? He doesn't actually get the chance to do anything to me. He just... Nope. I just turn around and... Oh, th I thought I just saw someone coming up the stairs. Eh, probably. Ah, no, everyone arrived. How? Party! Was it because you, you killed the archer? Or what's going on? Why are they running in that direction? There's seven levels under me, so they're not actually aggro... Like, they're not aggressive. Did anything have a horn that called them to place? No, I think they just go up. Hmm. It's interesting that it took you hours in game time to fight, right? Yeah. Because I thought it was dawn and now it looks like it's getting close to dusk. Uh... I mean, each day in game mm -hmm. is 24 minutes. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, if that was like a five minute fight, that would have been five hours. Gosh. Yeah, that... that doesn't make sense at all. I mean, you kind of have to finagle it for a JRPG. If you have time powers, though, couldn't they adjust the time frame so that you could have longer days, but if you just want to skip ahead, then you can just freely skip? I guess. I think it just only... well, I don't know. Oh. Mechon! And something we've never seen before! Big face coming! <gasps> a sky ray. I love depictions of sky manta rays and aquatic creatures. Yeah, it looks cool. Don't know how it would fly because it. I mean, this one is flapping, but I don't think it flaps at a rate that would allow it to fly. Yeah, especially with all this combat going on. Yeah, I think they. They usually explain it with some kind of magic or gas or something else. Uh, sheer force of will. We've been to those petting zoos where you get to pet the top of the stingrays, right? Yeah. Yeah. Recently-ish. Uh... Was it the... Toronto. Didn't we also pet some at the... Was it Minnesota or the Kansas? The Kansas Zoo. Kansas Zoo. Kansas had some. City. They had some as well. But yeah, Manta Ray, Manta Ray is real soft. That they are. And they're cute. They're really... Dude, today. 
Hmm. Well, it... I was just thinking about stingrays. I'm thinking about food. I might honestly have to get a snack. <laughs> like, it... The hunger is bad. Which really surprises me, because, like, I don't think of myself... Like, I don't think I... Didn't eat that much. I'm just so hungry. Well, remember, too. You're... What is it? 20... 30 pounds more than what you were when we first met? I... Uh, yeah. So it's one of those things where that screams for sustenance. Little. Can anyone explain what this thing is? I believe it is one of the oldest creatures on Bionis. I have only seen them as fossils, discovered around the capital, to find that they were trapped on Prison Island. Was it protecting the island? That would imply it's sentient. I believe it's responding to something primitive. Primitive? It doesn't care who or what we are. Its instinct was to defend against anything, but we'll never really know. We're losing time here. We still haven't reached the island. Ricky, go to island! <laughs> okay, that is so much better. I actually feel not distracted by hunger. Because <laughs> yeah, it was one of those hungers that I'd drink water and it would like placate it a little bit. And then it would come back worse and I'd be like, uh, I just, I can't. I can't deal. About to mount their attack. Did they kill all of the whales? Yeah, maybe they succeeded in doing so. Our forces can only take so much. The capital's defenses are sure to fall. Forefathers, grant me your wisdom. Iluna Meluruka Daxis. Duku Aruke Meluruka Sakihine Hato. A giant. So this is what was sealed away. How long has it been, Emperor? This is our first encounter. It is not you that I speak to, but your blood. The blood that shackled me. I see. Then I assume I do not need to tell you the reason I am here. There is no need. I already know why you have come. Hmm. Use it. That is the reason I am here, after all. Get that man some pants. Is he gonna unleash him? To what end? No, the guy is a power source. I think Prison Island is a weapon. Oh. It does look an awful lot like a cannon. That light, it's... Father. Ah, evil smile. This really does look like some last level nonsense. Mm-hmm. I 
I I was always suspicious of Alvis, but he he's been giving me the creeps lately. This island looks completely out of place. It really does. Like, where did they even get this rock from? Mm -hmm. It I doesn't it match a single other location. Could be Mekonis, but... Could be a kind of iron or metal. Yeah. Whoa! Big door! Whatever needed this door was massive. <gasps> Dino Beast! Hmm. It's just a statue. Don't freak us out like that, Ricky. Is this a person? I can't make it out. This may very well be the appearance of my forefathers. The legends tell that they differed greatly to how we look now. And this is what they looked like. Wait a minute. I've seen this thing somewhere before. Oh, Dino Beast, Dino Beast! You might be right. It reminds me of the Telethia as well. Did your ancestors build this island? No. The stories tell of this place existing long before my people. No one knows for sure. But we think our forefathers are the ones who sealed it. I wonder what's hidden inside. Well, we'll know soon enough, I suppose. There. An engraving by the forefathers. this engraving around the capital. Many researchers have tried and failed to discover its meaning. Hey, Shulk. That symbol. Yeah. It's similar to the Monado symbols. There must be a connection. Connection? The sealed door of Prison Island. It is said only a true successor to the throne can open it. Then the Emperor must be inside. I believe so. Forefathers, I, your descendant, Melia Antiqua, stand before you. For the sake of our world, release the seal! Just like at the tomb. What's it doing? Aren't we going to help? Please, do not worry. It is necessary. Oh. Heir to the Monado. Let the shackles be released. What is it, Shulk? Get a move on. You saw it, right? Us bashing that tin man's head in? Hold on a second. Oh, here we go. I knew you'd start overthinking. There's not much time, Shulk. We've got to go now. Sharla's right. We'll miss our chance to take that murdering mech on down. And save Melia's father, too. I... Okay. Oh, poor Shulk. Can't say there's a giant bearded creature. Sup? Hmm? Third line, right in the middle. Sup? <laughs> Turns out, they're just surfers. So the Telethia have been breeding with Homs this entire time. That... No. That... No. Well, I mean, that's what they were trying to do to some degree. Just because they have wings, they're gonna be oh, they have wings, they must be related. <laughs> what? 
Reverse furries. Fleshies. Where does this take me? Oh, does this take me to the beginning? Or, ah. No. Just outside? I think that actually takes us where we want to go. But I wanted to look at this giant, crazy throne room looking thing. Mm-hmm. Like, this very much actually looks like we'll be back l later, later in the game to fight the last boss here. Yeah, why would they craft this? Like, this place not... has vibes. And also, what's that machine? Teleporter? It looks Healing more teleporter -ish. It yeah, appears it's... to be deactivated. Don't freaking know. I like the designs in the floor and the blue yeah. flames and such. Oh, yeah. I heard, by the way, the extra story is downright beautiful. I'm mm -hmm. curious if they actually used, like, modern graphics for it or tried to match wait, the Wait, wait, they're version. doors. Hmm? Or maybe they're just... Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. Shall live in all now. <laughs> There might be stuff back here, but I feel like I'm wasting my time. This is kind of fun to look at. This is just immense, too. It is immense. I like when JRPGs make the protagonist feel real small. Just to, like, set scale and make everything super grand. Wait, there look to be... skeletons in the wall. Uh, <laughs> back we go. You go to the left. Is that a spine? Yeah, it, it, it looks like... No, 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 up and to the left. Oh. Yeah, it, it's, it's more centipedish. of a design motif. Yeah. Gosh, looking at it now, the, the walls are all kind of like... Gross, organic-y, organic but like not mm -hmm. the good kind. More mm -hmm. the like death and rot kind. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe that's it. The Bionis comes back as some kind of horrible flesh Are you, are you sure you're not zombie? supposed to go in the opposite direction? Does no, it... follow the yellow lines. Ah. But I'm curious, what is down here? Spine to bead. Gross. Don't tell me you have the manta rays after you. I do. Oh, it's the, another portal. Yeah, so these things are are specifically just patrolling and will attack me constantly. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's interesting that the portal thing we saw earlier probably connects there. Definitely reinforces that we'll be back later. Oh, look. Is that a hand or just a claw? Kind of a hand holding the light. Ooh, was that? What was that back there? Oh no, never mind. I thought I saw a tablet or something, but it isn't. Oh well. Yeah, so it looks like we're taking a bunch of teleporters up the fast way. So yeah, probably come back here later for the real trek. Because like, we ah. definitely have those. Either that or they really just had plans for this area and then said like never mind 